welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I want to give you an update on my Georgia collard greens. This is my third harvest. So I to the seeds in May and I harvest it twice. It is now September and look at my collard tree. So I harvest it from the bottom and you can see it's already grown into a harvest tree. And here's another one. There's another one, see? It's grown for a harvest tree. Excuse me, a, a, a collard green tree, I'm sorry. It's grown into a, a collard green tree. And here's another one. So, as your green grow, you harvest it from the bottom. And then the uh, greens continue to get tall. Uh, green trees, uh, collared green trees can get as tall as four and five feet tall. As long as you're harvesting it correctly and it still has many months to grow, you can get up to four to five harvests. This is zone 5B and I'm growing Georgia collared greens and I've already got a collared green tree. It is time to harvest, so let me start harvesting. Now, as long as you can continue growing your Georgia collard greens, you can see it will continue growing into a tree. And so I'm hoping that if the weather cooperates in the next month, I should get another harvest. But you can see I already have harvested this collard green tree right here and look at it. And then you can see I'm already getting new collard greens so hopefully I would probably have a collard green tree maybe three feet tall this is about two feet so I'm really excited about the possibilities of getting a fourth harvest from my Georgia collard green tree so I'm gonna continue harvesting then the the water bath that I've set these greens on, look at this is a lot of greens, so I can't even get all of the greens in this water bath. But the water bath that I just put these greens in is a fruit and vegetable wash called Fit. It's organic. And this is what I'm washing the greens with. So mind you, I put no chemicals on these greens, but of course you're gonna have insects and little other issues that are other pests that you don't want you want to make sure you wash off a lot of people use salt some people use um, vinegar to wash their greens and those are all good but I like wash using this organic fit fruit and vegetable wash so I just want to let you know so this is what you're seeing in um, this water bath where I'm gonna wash these greens so let me show you my my uh, collard green trees. So I just harvested this one. I just harvested this one. I just harvested harvest this one and I just harvest this one. So now you can see my collard green trees. Um, again, this is my third harvest. So I got another collard green tree that I am going to finish harvesting. I usually like the leaves not to get too large because they get really tough. So this size greens is usually a good size before they get tough. So there's my Georgia collard green trees. I have some more collard greens growing back here. And collard greens do pretty fairly good in the, and even at with temperatures as low as 40, and 50 degrees because the greens are very sweet. So hopefully being in zone 5B, I'm hoping we can still get day temperatures at 70 degrees higher would be great. Even into October, if the temperatures drop down to 40 degrees, 
Georgia collard greens do very well in those temperatures and the greens are actually sweeter. So hopefully these collard green trees will probably get another foot taller. I'll probably would be able to get some more leaves from my collard green tree and then maybe get a first harvest hit there and then also have a fourth harvest on these collard green trees. So I just wanted to take you along and let you know that you can grow Georgia collard greens in zone 5B and they can be very, very successful. Now one other tip I wanna share with you as to why I don't have any issues with pests on my Georgia collard greens because I cover it with the insect barrier mesh. And keep in mind that cabbage, lettuces, greens are all part of the brassica family. And you typically get cabbage worms from those little white butterflies. And unless you wanna just truly grow organic, you don't wanna use neem oil or any other uh, spray to try to keep the pests from eating the leaves, this is what works for me. And I will have the link in the description for the fruit and vegetable wash and the link in the description for the insect barrier protection. So I'm gonna show you how I cover it. So I like to put poles right here. You can get those at any nursery store. And this just acts like a mesh covering. The sunlight can get through it. And I put it over like this. You can see I've got my grapes covered. Keep the birds and the squirrels off it. So th this is how I'm covering my Georgia collard greens. I don't worry about squirrels, cats, dogs, birds, and most importantly, those cabbage worms that will decimate your crops if you don't keep them protected. So as you can see, I have the crop covered. And usually what I like to do is I have a couple of pins that I will secure in the middle just to ensure that no one lifts it up. And the pins look like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure this side. I have now covered my Georgia collard green tree and I can rest assured that I continue growing organically. I'm not gonna have any pests bothering the greens and hopefully I can get another harvest before October. So those are my tips on growing Georgia collard green in zone 5B. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.